The following is a production of Learfield Sports. It's football season in Chattanooga, where the mocks are back-to-back -back SOCON champions. We've got tremendous football players in this room. Caught at the 25, down to the 20, down to the 10, touchdown Chattanooga. Well, I think the fan support part of it is huge, because our fans are phenomenal. Wants to throw, and it is egg. Led by head coach Russ Huseman. Come out and play with unbelievable energy today. Play with a chip on your shoulder today. You guys belong. Let's roll. Welcome to Inside Chattanooga Football, hosted by head coach Russ Huseman and the voice of the Chattanooga Mocs, Jim Reynolds. Brought to you by Allegra, 24-hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. By Coca-Cola, Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler. By FSG Bank, proud to be the official bank of Chattanooga Mox Athletics. Welcome to Inside Chattanooga Football. I'm Jim Reynolds. Huge game Saturday for the Chattanooga Mox. Mox are at home for the final time this season with everything on the line. Mox taking on the Citadel. That's a 2 o'clock kickoff on Saturday. What's on the line? A Southern Conference Championship and an automatic bid into the NCAA Tournament. On today's Inside Chattanooga Football, we'll preview that big game between the Mox and the Citadel Bulldogs and also have highlights of UTC's game last weekend in Macon, Georgia against Mercer. That all comes your way in just a moment. Inside Chattanooga Football returns right after this. We celebrate you, loyal UTC fans, who brave sunburn and parking game after game. You super fans who live, eat, and breathe your UTC sports. And you, family of fanatics, passing down your game day traditions. No matter who you are, Mighty Mox, FSG has you covered. Get the exclusive Power C debit card and show your UTC pride. Together, we'll ride the rails to victory. FSG Bank is proud to be the official bank of UTC athletics. This segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is brought to you by Allegra, 24-hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. I know Mercer's way better than what their record indicates, especially their conference record. Uh, they got good players. Uh, third year program, second year in the Southern Conference. What they've done is, is really remarkable to be as competitive as they are this early in the process is a, is a testimony to what they're doing over there at Mercer and, and their coaching staff. Uh, you know, just look at last year's game. I mean, we very easily could have lost that game. Uh, when we were actually playing good leading up to that game and, and uh, could have lost. So uh, we know that uh, we got a tough test ahead of us on Saturday. Uh, going down there to Mercer, so uh, we got to have a great week of practice. So, you know, they're they're really capable of playing good defense, and we're going to have to play well. We're going to have to play well up front to to move the ball on them. You haven't once seen them not play hard in any of the games that they've played on film. Uh, they compete. You know, it's one of those things, and I mean, you gotta you got to get a win. And you got to get over the hump of winning one like that. It was, we were in the same boat for a long time here at Chattanooga. We couldn't, you know, we couldn't get that win to, to kind of get us over the hump and, and snowball a little bit. And, and they're, they're going to get one. And once they do, I think they'll be a dangerous team. And I reminded them in the team meeting and I guarantee Coach Braithwaite reminded them in the defensive meeting before they came to the team meeting uh, very poor, um, but you know it was a combination. It was a combination of us not playing well and those guys playing really well. They executed. Um, you know they made plays. I, their schemes were really good, and uh, you know that's what happens. You're in a dogfight, and um, 
So we're, we're extremely, extremely disappointed defensively. Now last year offensively we played pretty good against them. I mean, did a nice job, but um, we can't. We, if we play defense like that this week, we we got no shot. Yeah, actually, I mean, it's kind of the same, but this time of the year, everybody's getting sore and banged up, and you're getting that end point of the season where you have to like try to finish out and finish strong how you started. But being number three, you got a bigger target on your back. Most teams are gunning for you. They're giving it their best shot. They're doing everything they can to try to get a win out of you. So it's pretty, it's pretty tough during this time of year. It's, it's been a lot of talk because they have a bunch of good players. They have a good team. And last year, I think you gave up seven big plays. When you give up that number of big plays, you're not supposed to come out with a win like that. But luckily, our offense was rolling like they are at this point and was able to help us out. But yeah, we have reminders of Mercer in our locker defense. We have like close games that we might have played bad in, and our lockers as a reminder, a daily reminder that's been there for months. And Mercer was one of them. This segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler. I need a pen. Hey, Hart, you got a pen? Russ, you got, the, you got a pen? Roderick, you got a pen? Bryce, you got a pen? Thank you. Thank you, sir. I return. I'm better. I'm better than you, Bryce. There's no music today. Don't need music, coach. Don't need music. Take me, to Get motivated this week, and I feel sorry for you. I'm with it. You're right. I'm pretty motivated myself. You said so. Do you say, hey, coach? That's just between me and you, okay? So, boy, I don't know if you know this, but I guess the microphone. It's a reason why I'm like it. It's a reason why it's like it's no longer between me and you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, come on back. Come on back. Uh, uh, round D. Let's go. First down. All right. All right. Good. Good. Come on back. Any questions with that? Hey, step one. Come here, baby. Let's do this right here, okay? You go up, okay? You go kick out the three technique. Thanks, okay. I go hard, okay? Ready, set, go! Ah. Good, 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 good. You see the pull? Yeah. You saw that? Huh? That's pretty cool. Now, the guy that's gotta get on his horse here, there's two things. If you could speedo that, you might save the day. Move with me, Mr. Physicality. Leave with your hands, boom. Scared me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. Here we go. Here, 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 do this. Okay. Hey, where is he at? Three yards. Is he behind the tackle? Right behind McMill. Okay, good. He right there. He good. Come to your side. Here we go. Talk, tackle, tackle, tackle. Listen, don't be ripping. <laughs> no, I thought, I'm trying to go outside of him. Just, just like that. I am, but if I'm stepping like this, he going down. Okay, well, say, say inside hand. Yeah, that's what can't happen, KD. Get your pass down. Dude, you know it's coming. Get your pass down, man. I'm telling you, you can't be up here taking it. Right there, good. Good, go get it, go get it. That's good, don't overrun it. That's a ton better that time, ton better. Woo. Can you think like me? Yeah. Just be old, I'm old, and I'm not in a rush to do anything. First sound, run it. First sound. Ready, sit. 
Got time. It's not ISO. Run it. You're out of bounds. Do it again. Let's go. Two. First down. Tut. Tut. Kick. Fifth. Boom. There. Good. All right. Good. Tut. That's all I want right there. That's it. That's you. That's good stuff. Here we go. It's time for the Student Athlete Spotlight, brought to you by Southeast Bank. I'm Ashlyn Wirt. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and I'm a member of the women's basketball team. Um, well, now that it's my second year, I'm pretty used to it. My first year, well, I got down here like a week after graduation from high school, so it was kind of like a bit of like a culture shock. I was like dealing with like different locations, still kind of like a little homesick. But I mean, it's definitely been a change for the better. Um, at first, it was a little different just because, you know, things move a little bit faster up north, but I like it. You know, it's nice. Everyone's nice here. It's nice because sometimes, like, we'll say certain things in practice and everyone's like, what? Like, I say tournament instead of tournament or, like, my A's are kind of longer, like, pass or bad or something, but he's like, you know, I say the same thing, so it's cool. <laughs> well, originally, I was looking at St. Joseph University where Coach John McRae, he was a grad assistant there, so that's where I met him. And then, like, um, during that summer, I guess, when Coach McCray got here, he started recruiting me, and I was like, oh, you know, Tennessee's kind of far away, but, you know, after that official visit, I knew that this was where I was supposed to be. There was definitely times where I was extremely frustrated, especially with, like, the whole rehab process of my knee that I just, like, you just have to focus on it. And, I mean, pick, like, the positives of it. Like, it's basically like Coach Foster gave me, like, a test before I got to take it. Okay, you have all the answers now. Connecticut, UConn, man. I mean, it's really like just crazy because I mean, there's a lot of programs don't really get a chance to do what we've done and continue to be able to do. So I'm really excited. We celebrate you, loyal UTC fans, who brave sunburn and parking game after game. You super fans who live, eat, and breathe your UTC sports. And you, family of fanatics, passing down your game day traditions. No matter who you are, Mighty Mox, FSG has you covered. Get the exclusive Power C debit card and show your UTC pride. Together, we'll ride the rails to victory. FSG Bank is proud to be the official bank of UTC athletics. This segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is brought to you by FSG Bank. Proud to be the official bank of Chattanooga Mox Athletics. Offensive lines protected them well too. They are gonna go to the ground this time and to no avail. Quickly gobbled up Josh Freeman. He's been gonna take it himself. Has the first, maybe even more. Finally gonna be tripped up Zach Jackson Finally able to bring him down, only needed Back one. Back in there too. Crane will get it. Crane running up the middle. Strong running from Derek Crane as he is finally cut down there on this fourth and one. Houston gonna keep it himself. Going forward, he's got enough for the first. Austin Barrett, bunch receiver set up the top of your screen. Air again. No, Houston gonna run. Houston's gonna get it. Huseman still in bounds, finally gonna duck out. Huseman gonna take it himself behind the block. A crane and into the end zone for the touchdown. He's been able to one, run one in today. Here Chattanooga will take another one here. This time though, it's gonna be Crane. Crane coming near side of the field. Crane with a block down the field and he gets it up near the 40. On the second down, going to go to the air. Huseman looking downfield, and that is going to be complete as he's able to fit it in to C.J. Board, the junior yeah. from Clutch. His son, Jacob, going to throw it. 
completes it. Ford again. And Ford was still trying to stay on the feet until he finally trips Double up. Gain by Huseman. He's going to go to the air. Huseman over the middle. Borashotti able to bring in that pass. Xavier Borashotti, great off the field here. Huseman the throw. Has time. Now that time's breaking down. Throwing it down the field. That's complete. First down, maybe even more. Stovall still on his feet. Finally going to be tripped up at the 10. It does look like that it did get the opposite side of the crossover of the uh, upright, which of course would not mean good things for him, but that means good things for Derek Crane. He runs as with he's... just everything about him as a runner. How about his son, Jacob? He takes off, gets the first down. Also struggled, especially on third down. But today, things are going well. Russ to throw, going over the middle. That is going to be intercepted. Lucas Webb with the pick. Here he comes the other way. Does he have enough blocks? He's finally going to be chopped down at the 35. First interception of the year from John Russ. And Lucas Webb is there to bring it in. Back on John Russ's first interception of the year. Now they try on a third down. Going downfield, completing, and getting it in to board is Huseman. Snap from the center, Revis. Huseman up the middle. Huseman is in for the score. Huseman going to go over the middle. Borshotti wide open. Xavier Borashotti able to bring it in. He's cleaned up, though, by Zach Jackson. I mean, there it is again. Houston on the run in the same success that Tebow would find during his college days. As he gets it inside the 17-14, Mercer with the win over Chattanooga. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup honors the nation's best overall collegiate athletic program in each division, men's and women's sports. The prestigious award continues its reign as the crowning achievement in college athletics. To follow your favorite team, like us on Facebook, find us in USA Today, online, and on Twitter at LS Directors Cup. Over two decades of excellence, the Learfield Sports Directors Cup. Welcome back to Inside Chattanooga Football, joined by head coach Russ Huseman. And we'll obviously talk about the Mercer game, but boy, Saturday's game is pretty important, isn't it? Yeah, obviously that's going to be one of the biggest ones we've ever been involved with, with, uh, you know, conference championship on the line, playoff implications. So, uh, you know, it's a big one. And, you know, our guys got to prepare like it's the biggest game of their lives. One of those situations in other years, we've looked at scoreboards, what other people have done. What's the tiebreaker on this and that and the other? We've made it simple for Saturday, haven't we? It was simple going into <laughs> last week. Um, you, you know, it, we, you never want to lose a game, obviously, and we're disappointed in losing. But you, you knew and everybody knew it was coming down to this week either way. And the Citadel playing well. That's a 2 o'clock kickoff, by the way, at Finley Stadium. Mox and the Bulldogs. UTC wins. They share the league championship and get the automatic bid in the playoffs. And the same for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs win. They win the league championship outright and get that automatic bid. That's that's pretty simple. And their football team playing pretty well. Yeah, they're playing really well. Both sides of the ball. Um, you know, they've always been tough to defend offensively, and they still are. They've got good athletes there. But the, things that, the thing that's impressed me the most about them is how they're playing defense. And as you as you play games during the year, you know that the, the, you watch the opposing team's defense, whether you're playing them or not. You know as they as you game plan another opponent, and and we've been impressed with what they're doing defensively. Uh, they look really good. They're athletic, play really hard. So, I think both sides of the board are, are really playing well for them. Going back to last Saturday against Mercer, pretty simple stuff, I believe. Just too many mistakes to beat a good football team. Well, the four turnovers, 
Um, you know, one didn't hurt us because we got the turnover right back. But, you know, the four turnovers and then not punching it in down there um, on the goal line, that, that's the difference in the game. We get that one, it's 21-17. And, and whether we hold them or not, I don't know. But, you know, that's seven points we should have had and could have gotten and, and didn't get it in. Just one of those situations. Have you ever been involved in a game where there was only one penalty? I'm sure you have, and I guess I have too. I just don't remember it. <laughs> yeah, I, I was shocked when I saw that. And, um, you know, we had a block in the back on a, on a punt return that was really blatant. They didn't call. But other than that, you know, everybody's pretty clean with their hands, and there wasn't a lot of chippiness and late hits. And uh, so I thought it was a clean game, both sides of the ball. Just talk about where, I mean, you, I'm guessing with everything on the line Saturday like it is, you don't have to do many big speeches or anything like that to kind of get up off the ground after a tough loss last weekend. Well, I tried to emphasize to our guys in our Sunday meeting that, you know, the, the problem is you just can't go in on Saturday and say, all right, we're going to yell and scream and hoop and holler and, and, and play well. You know, I told them every aspect of this week has to be perfect and – and, and whether it's how you sleep, the rest you get, you know, I, I said, you eat, I, I yeah. said, you don't need to be talking to your girlfriend every day. You don't, you need to focus on this game and have a great week of practice. And then the hooping and hollering doesn't mean anything before the game. It's nice to be hooping and hollering afterwards though, right? Yeah. I mean, this will be, this will be a tough one. And, uh, you know, I think we got two good teams that are going to play, and hopefully we get a great crowd out there for this one. Uh, you know, this is probably as big as it comes here in Chattanooga in a long time, and and with so much on the line, and both teams playing playing well, so uh, we need a great crowd out there. I was going to say it's Military Appreciation Day, and as you mentioned, final home game, regular season home game. I'll say that everything on the line, everyone could figure out exactly what the scenario is. Yeah, I just think for what's on the line here for the championship, the bid, uh, you know, it, it's such a huge game. And I know Military Appreciation Day is great, and, 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 and I love doing that and being involved in that. And, you know, it's senior day, and, and that's all great. But, you know, we, we, we got to play for this football team, and we got to win because we want to win a championship and get in the playoffs. Again, postseason on the line Saturday. Mox and the Citadel Bulldogs. That's a 2 o'clock kickoff Saturday at Finley Stadium. We'll have highlights of that game next time on Inside Chattanooga Football. Inside Chattanooga Football has been brought to you by Allegra. 24-hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. By Coca-Cola. Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company. The world's largest Coca-Cola bottler. By FSG Bank. Proud to be the official bank of Chattanooga Mox Athletics.